Alrighty, it is time to do some customizable boss. So, our glazer just got released and we are going to try it for the first time. Um, we have not really looked into any sort of patch notes. We're just going to die a whole bunch of times because it is free death week. Um, and we're just going to try it out and see how well we do. Uh, I'm going to set it to all just to see if I can get any loot drops and test it on hard and then hopefully... What we'll do is we'll uh, take a look and uh, potentially do less uh, if we can do that or uh, if we make it through the entire kill. Hopefully we can maybe attempt to do a hard mode kill, though I doubt it with our gear and stats. So hopefully this goes really well. Alright, so it seems like if there's spikes underneath, we're going to get hit by a ranged attack. And if there's not, we're going to get into a magic attack. So um, I guess this is just like a Jad phase. Uh, it's not bad. Okay, being pushed into a corner. It's Devo just in case. And I Devoed the wrong prayer. <laughs> well, death one of many. So if we get pushed to the right here, I think it's the like beams of energy. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna run. Um, this feels a lot like the old school gauntlet boss. I don't know, maybe maybe that's just me. But I see I see the tornadoes. I watch too many old school streamers for being an RS3 player. Anyways, yeah, so let's just avoid these. And lag in a little bit, but Okay, what do we got? Two arms? So I guess we just folk do we have to kill both? That must really hurt like a truck if you don't Devo. That must be like what you need to do, I guess. Oh shoot, this is definitely the big charge attack and I don't have Devo. Let's just eat up here and pray we don't die. Oh, the booty is clenched. It's clenched hard. That's a 7k hit. Alright, we're definitely going to need to pick up a shield for the next kill. Um, that's a free reso if I've ever seen it. Alright, 100k HP left. Sunshine. Let's just DPS this down and get our first kill. Man, those beams really hurt your prayer. Oh my god. I gotta avoid them at all costs. I'm definitely going to need to bring more prayers next time. Oh my god, I totally didn't mean to sunshine. I need to Devo. Oh, I'm gonna lose this kill. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, okay, 30k HP. We got this. 25. No, why is it your defense bolstered? Please. Is it beams? It's it's beams. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. Alright, we'll just cast. Cast and move, cast and move. No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, man, you go away. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Why is this so hard? And I'm out of prayer. <laughs> oh my god. What was the end of that kill? Let's go boys. Much cleaner kill. Alright. I guess this is our first loot drop. Okay. Water talismans. I see crushed nests. 482k. Holy cow. This is a boss to farm. This is gonna be a money maker. Look at the herb lore supplies, and we get and we got some summoning supplies in there, dude. This is gonna be a great boss for Iron Man if these are what the drops are like. Anyways, after a few more solo kills, I decided I was gonna take it a little bit easier and just team up with my buddy Late, uh, and we were gonna go do some duo kills, and it was actually really relaxing. Uh, but we had a an absolute blast on Mike. See, this is why we love Free Death Week. It's just 
easy kills, don't have to pay for anything. Oh no. Oh boy, that's that's just that's just <laughs> Oh, that that's something right there. I had a triple cannon back to look at you guys go. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> But seriously, if the boss is like dropping this level of keys, I 100% am going to make a promise to you guys at this point in time, at some point, I am going to save up all of my crystal keys and I'm going to have a white stack of crystal keys. We're talking 10, sorry, not 10,000, 100,000 crystal keys. We're going to make that a video. It's going to happen at some point. Mark my words. Anyways, just a thought. Let's go. I've just got to say this, and I, my plan is probably going to be making another video on this like entirely, but Zero Mechanic AFK Arc Glacier is probably my favorite thing to do while editing videos now. Um, I'm just like going through videos, literally not even clicking the screen and looking back, uh, it's about a minute to 30 kill per kill right now. Um, but I literally don't have to look at my screen for three minutes and all of a sudden there's going to be charms on the ground. There's going to be some, you know, pretty small drops, but it's still like 80 to 100k every minute 30, which is not bad money at all for not looking at the screen and only being in subjugation with a tier 75. Uh, no soul split, by the way. So um, this is like my ultimate AFK strategy now. So figured I'd just share with you guys. Switching it up here a little bit, but we're swapping over to a Beastmaster raid, our first kill ever on the account. Highly doubt we're gonna get the codex, but let's unlock the loot. All right, and taking a look at the loot, we have. All right, not bad. Um, we just, just, we. <clears throat> Can I please get my loot? Thank you. All right, let's go. Holy cow, this charger. What a mad lad. I think that actually spawned after the kill as well. Anyways, no codex, uh, but was still a very fun first kill, and I'm very glad that I was able to get in with like a tier 75. Um, so huge shout out to Lord Ramage for the host. Just a just a small 1.6 million drop. No biggie. No biggie at all. Just a friendly reminder to do your jack of trades every day, three times a day, to get that sweet, sweet herb lore. Just farming up some charms here, doing some AFK stuff while I do some editing, and we get a nice little level here of 95 HP. Another cheeky little level that managed to actually slip by me, but uh, we were AFKing a little too hard, uh, but 98 magic. One more for Zeeper Steen Cape, which is going to be really useful uh, for swapping between Lunars, Ancients, and our normal spellbook, um, especially when trying to use uh, like Fire Urns and stuff like that. Uh, that will be really useful for that. Okay, so looking back at these clips, I actually had zero clue why it went from the clip of me getting 98 to me afk and glacier still and getting 99 magic so that's absolutely insane um the xp per hour is also quite off the charts for like something that is again so afk um again i'm just gonna keep reaching it this is a god-given gift to afk scape Magic Cape Unlock. So as I said before, it's going to allow us to swap between all of our spell books, which is going to be really, really nice for us. Um, and it's going to make our life a lot easier. So like from a utility side, this is a wonderful cape. Uh, you can't see it because obviously I have the construction cape override. Uh, but this is like one of my favorite capes to unlock on the iron. Alrighty. I mean, that's kind of a cool accomplishment to get. Uh, so let's celebrate with the absolute massive amount of Triskelion keys that we got from doing this boss. I think we got nine completes and then we have like a few extra broken ones. Um, so let's go test out our luck. Well, you can't expect to be spooned everywhere.